Let me join you. Let me play with you more and have more fun. Anything, anything, even if it means becoming a part of your play. That's okay. Come try out the boss chair. Made from the leather of my boss at work. Of course the island owner should come to us. I saw on the forum before that someone really wanted us to bring some posts from the Elysia Land forum to life. Look, I I've recreated them all. Wait, wait, don't worry about that. Um, have another drink, baby. The energy at the seabed is not right. <laughs> Something has sneaked in. Looks like someone wants to stir up a storm under the sea. Driving away my guests. Destroying the joy and perfection on the island. Why are you shaking? Don't be afraid. This is Alicia Land, and I am the creator and owner of this island. I won't let my guests be harmed or neglected. Someone is causing trouble on my island. I won't let him get away with it. Hey! Or we could invite him to join us! And he'll be so happy he'll cry! Bowing and thanking us for letting him enjoy with us! Inviting such tasteless people! Don't bring them here or they'll dirty my place! I can probably guess who it is. It's that person in the gray trench coat. It's okay. You have me. And I will always stand by your side. A terrible disease! We can't have such a person here! 
<sighs> Don't worry. I'll handle it. You guys just continue your revelry. Leave the killjoy to me. Besides, now that he's on Elysia land, why not look forward to him becoming one of us? No, that's not it. What a strange smell. Isn't this the most fascinating perfume corner on the island? Did something happen to the perfume master? have all been knocked over not nearly good enough i need them to be more vibrant more imperishable the sands have all changed here at the bottom of the sea some have become pure and madder while others have grown sweeter more decayed that scent i've been searching for is nowhere to be found oh Dear me, is, is that death I see drawing near? No, that's not real. This place will only fulfill all your desires. There won't be any death. If you wish for it sincerely, that imperishable scent you pursue will surely come to you. Forget those things that trouble you. Just remember what makes you happy. Are you the master of this place? The one who promises everyone pleasure and desire? But... You don't carry any sense. No enchanting aroma of beauty or decadent stench of one consumed in desire. You are insipid, just like water. That's curious. A perfume ingredient like you really is a first for me. Perhaps your body is worth studying after all. Body. Oh, right. I hear that your perfume ingredients are hard to come by. They are both unique and frightening. Are you interested? <laughs> Looks like you're bolder and have better taste than most others. Each part of the human body exudes a distinct smell. Here, it is mild, but dissipates easily. And here, it is more vibrant. And here is the toughest part to extract for use. But it produces the most enduring scents, which serve as the best materials for the immortal fragrance. Immortal fragrance? Is that what you desire? If I provide you with the ingredients to make this perfume, you'll be glad, right? Yes, but what I want is beyond your reach. 
Even if you give yourself up for my formula, it is impossible to concoct the immortal fragrance down here. The salty sea water has compromised the sense of useful parts, so the amounts have to be recalculated. And the worst part is, the beauty, the most crucial ingredient, is also gone. The most crucial ingredient is gone? Yes, yes, gone. I tracked down that scent on the island, but have been unable to find it after sinking beneath the sea. I see. I understand. Miss Cassia, you can rest assured. This is Alicia Land, where no wish goes unfulfilled, no desire unsatisfied. I will make sure to bring him to you. As for you, you just have fun making perfumes here and wait for my good news. Keep filling the void of your desires and pushing beyond the limits of your cravings. Turn all the creatures you fancy into perfumes. By then, he will surely come to you and be at your disposal. Consider this a promise from Elysia Land's owner. What you are saying is but an empty promise to me. I've been on this island for quite some time now, but the necessary ingredients are nowhere to be seen, let alone the immortal fragrance. Can you really deliver on your promise? Can I deliver? Ever since you came to Elysia Land, I have delivered on countless promises and granted more wishes for you than I can count. Haven't I? Everyone! Everyone who comes here has their wishes granted! Any wish that seems hopeless and impossible in reality. And of course yours too. Why not? And... What's the harm in doing as I say, Miss Cassia? When your most fervent wish can't be gratified, lesser ones need to be prioritized to ease your anxiety and quench your yearnings. That's how things are meant to be, right? Hmm, meant to be. True. I've always comforted myself with the possession of these fragrances, until I can finally create the immortal fragrance. That's my desire, too. One that deserves to be fulfilled. Yes, that's right. Indulge yourself. Enjoy yourself. Even if the pleasure is fleeting and bound to fade, we can create the illusion of eternity with abundance and continuity. This scent, oh, a mere whiff is enough to calm you down. It's you. You are here at long last.
Hey, you guys over there! Don't all gather in one spot. Swim further away so you're not all crammed together. Good, very good. Just like that. Next. Hmm. There should be enough shells and starfish on the beach for people to gather. You guys, follow my orders and go fetch some. But why do they obey my voice so readily? Obey? Can't you see? Some people just need a guiding voice. Need to be controlled. So they don't do things that harm themselves. Or others. Uh, who's that? Never doubt yourself. They need your voice. Uh, my voice. My voice can be heard by anyone. My voice is worthy. Everyone must listen to me properly. everything better. Yes, my voice can make this place better. As long as you all listen to me, it surely can. Find more conches. Tidy the messy beach chairs. Don't leave wrappers and trash here. Clean them all up! Wow, look at you, Levin! You sure have turned the beach into a fun place. Now you've made all of them your voice-controlled toys, haven't you? They'll do whatever you tell them to do. Don't you feel like a queen overseeing her subjects? This beach has truly become your kingdom. Are you glad? Isn't it delightful? You two, dance with each other. <laughs> you three, roll from this side of the beach to the other. Yes, your voice sounds familiar. Levin, where are you going? Aren't you going to keep ordering them around? Hello? Please say a few more words. I feel that I really need your voice. The truth. Wait, Chief? Is that you? Are you looking for me? The 
voice in my heart. I, what I once forgot and lost, is the voice in my heart. Chief, is it you? Is it you who's once again woken me up? The person who called her must be very important to her. Otherwise, how could just a few words have taken her away? She was so happy here. Come on, hang in there. We need to make even more roses. Enough to fill this garden. <coughs> but, but it seems like there's not enough to make more roses. you have in your garden did you grow them all by yourself yes i've nurtured these roses with love they're reserved for the most important person but i i've run out of love can you help me i want to fill the entire garden with roses do you have enough love inside you? I wanted to ask those little fish for help, but they don't understand love and can't become roses. What about you? Can you? Hmm. I know what you want. Elysia Land can certainly satisfy you. Let's give it a try! in Elysia Land yet. I think... maybe we haven't gotten the correct material. The most important material should be the love you mentioned, right? Of course, the most intense form of love here is mine. I love this island and everyone here. I hope you can all be bathed in happiness, joy, and satisfaction all the time. Go ahead. Use this to build the world you desire. And fulfill your wishes. The 
is the return day. What a wonderful wish. What a wonderful view. But who is this person worth risking your life for to create such a garden? Well, because by the time the world's largest rose garden is filled with roses of love, Daddy will come back. Daddy? You're creating this rose garden to bring your father back? What a little fool. You don't even know you've been lied to. Let me tell you. As soon as they realize you're a burden, they'll disappear from your life and never come back. What you believe in is just a lie to distract you, so you won't act up. But Daddy's made a promise. He's never lied to me. Maybe what you have is a different kind of love. And let me see if this miracle will really happen. Do you also have matters to tend to in the other world? Then, where can I find the remaining roses? Will Daddy still come back? How did this happen? How? How could my swamp be fake? This is different from what the island owner told me. the so-called punishment. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. As long as... you say nothing to my family...
can. According to LL, her power seems to come from the bottom of the sea or someplace like that. She's like a fish and needs to live in water. That's why she keeps taking us to the seabed. Those people from under the sea, or is it underground? They said that as long as a leisure land created by LL can gather enough emotional energy, then LL herself can enjoy many experiences she has never had before. All right, as long as you keep your word. Don't forget, lying is wrong, even for adults. That forum, Elysia Land. At first it was just a gathering place for people with niche hobbies. As in hobbies not tolerated by the mainstream. Filth is only safe in a pit of filth. But there's no place in this world for filth, so we can only hide. Only when the world is completely covered in swamps and filth, people like us can finally live without shame. This is my wish. This is how I can exist happily. I came here because the island owner said that Elysia Land could offer me this kind of life. Joy and satisfaction are the benefits. Although she is the island owner, she's also one of us. She has said many times that she likes having fun with us. She likes to see everyone have their desires fulfilled, to see everyone indulge in pleasure, as if that would also bring her joy. She also said everyone would always stay with her because once people find out how easy it is to satisfy a desire on Elysia Land, no one can resist the temptation to stay. The more content and satisfied you guys are, the more energy this island gains and the stronger I become. That way, the world you desire will grow even larger, too. That's why I don't want to leave. A poisonous mushroom is only safe when buried in the mud. But there's no place for filthy mud or poisonous mushrooms in this world. My joy will transform into energy for her, maintaining my swamp and strengthening her power. Now you've woken people like us up, cutting off the joy and the energy. That's why my swamp is gone. I just hope to live happily in this world. Was that useful? Can I leave now? I... I've still got homework to finish. No one told me I'd be kept here for so long. 